Basilica of St. Francis. The team stands below a gaping hole in the vault over the altar as the shattered remains of priceless frescoes dating to the early Renaissance litter the floor. It's a heartbreaking loss, but the real heartbreak has only begun as once again, out of nowhere, a second quake strikes Assisi, putting everyone inside at its mercy. Terrified men and women flee for the exits. News videographer Paolo Antolini points his camera upward just as the ceiling comes crashing down, enveloping the entire scene in a cloud of dust and rubble. Everyone started running out the door. I didn't run out because I was too far away to exit quickly. At least a dozen people, including architect Centroni, were standing under the vault when it collapsed. Paolo had moved far back in the basilica to get a wider angle shot with his camera. And now he's alone in the dark until he hears the screams. The dust was suffocating. Everything went completely black. I pulled my shirt up and put it over my mouth and nose while I continued shooting. I heard voices screaming, help. The first quake, measuring 4.9 on the Richter scale, had taken out most of the vault on the south end of the basilica. The second Templar, a 5.7, caused even more damage to the vault over the main entrance on the north end. Once again, more priceless artwork smashed to bits after falling more than 100 feet to the floor. After two quakes in the span of a few hours, more than 2,000 square feet.